What's happening guys? Got my BC Rich Warlock right here. Never been played. At least not by me. Bought it and put it on the wall. Just wanted to show you guys this cool guitar. But today we're gonna take a look at uh, leather seat treatment and what is the best method for treating these and there's a secret unknown ingredient I'm going to show you that you can buy uh, online or in your local grocery store or drug store and uh, you can treat your leather seats with it. So one I found at a um, flea market that I refurbished. I have a few of them on the walls. So today I'm going to show you leather interior uh, conditioning and cleaning and you probably don't know about this method. It's a method that I saw online and I've been trying it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, the products to use, and the methods, and that's coming up. All right, everybody, we got some of the most common interior leather products here. I wanna take a look at all these, um, let you see them. So the first thing we have here is from Griot's Garage, and it is called Leather 3-in-1. Uh, it says it's safe for all leathers, produces soft and supple finish, and durable UV protection. Um, now, it's interesting because every time I go to Advanced Auto Parts, I find a different product by Griot's. And so I never get the same product twice, and I don't understand why that is and why they have so many different products for leather. This is called Leather 3-in-1. It's in a bottle that's not clear. Um, next we have here, um, Leather Care, and uh, that is also from Griot's, and it says cleans and preserves leather. Um, gently cleans all leather, extends life, and dries clear. And then the next thing we have here is Griot's Leather Care Spray, cleans and preserves leather. Don't ask me why they have so many products that all do pretty much the same thing. So I buy whatever they have, it is not cheap. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, you're going to pay for quality products for your um, leather interior, okay? So that is the first three. Now, here's one you probably don't know about. This is Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo by this company called OGX. Let's see if I can get the camera to uh, focus there. So you can buy this on Amazon or you can buy it in your local supermarket. And this is Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo. Very interesting, I saw this online by one guy and I, I decided to give it a shot and sure enough, it is, it's good stuff. I actually put it, um, now on the SL65, the whole entire leather interior is, or the whole entire interior is made of leather. All the surfaces are covered with leather and it's actually, uh, designer it's like an upgrade from the SL55 and I forgot what the name of it is I think it's called exclusive leather so I use this product on the entire interior of the car and then sometimes I use these three on the next um, round of, uh, of detailing so I'll use this one week and then I'll go back to one of these three now online it does say that uh, you should use this first and then follow up with one of these three, but I don't do that. I think that's a little bit of overkill and I'll show you why when we get the coconut milk on there. Um, supposedly this is such a good thing because um, not only does it condition the seats, but it also cleans them as you are putting it on. I'm gonna show you how to apply these products, uh, specifically this coconut milk one uh, right now. All right, we got the coconut milk uh, nourishing shampoo here from OGX. Got a clean chamois cloth here. This is all I ever use for the interior of the car. So we're gonna go ahead and start using this. What I like to do is just put some on the seat right there, like that. Pretty simple process, obviously. Um, take this chamois and rub it in really good. Make sure you get all of the seat. And as you notice here, it is gonna go in the holes because these seats are heated and ventilated, but it will dry eventually. 
So don't worry about it if it gets in the holes of the seat, but if you're super worried about it, you can just like press in harder and they will all. Now, if you notice what that leaves on the seat is like a nice conditioned surface. You can definitely tell that this stuff does a great job on the, uh, on the leather, on cleaning it and conditioning it. It doesn't take very much. Um, and once you put some on there, you can just grab it and, you know, move it around here. So I like to be um, pretty generous on the application and don't forget the sides of the seats here even though they're um, not really in sight and the fronts. The obvious is to get all the bolsters but don't forget um, all the sides pretty much anywhere you have leather in the car you want to go ahead and apply this stuff. So um, you can also just if you want to apply it directly to the rag like that and then you know just directly onto it if you don't want to pour it out first and um, I know the lighting's not very good in here but as you can see it leaves the leather really in good shape after it's done and uh, even when it dries you're gonna notice that the leather is you know nice and soft and conditioned um, it is a different type of a uh, the way it feels compared to the other products over there um, the spray I find I don't really like it as much as the um, pastes I just feel like it leaves a um, kind of a watery uh, finish that I don't feel is as as high quality as the pastes are so um, even though that stuff is the same exact price I do like the pastes better so I tend to buy those I just wanted to try it since they did have it so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this seat and then I'll be back with the finished product got this whole entire seat condition now looks great I try to do these seats um, actually the whole interior of the car once a week regardless if I drive it or not notice here all the door panels and everything on this car are laid with leather and the dash um, the lights did go out let me get those lights back on so yeah the whole entire uh, interior of this car is overlaid with what's called exclusive leather which is uh, definitely an upgrade over the 55 and 600 versions. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now and give you an update when that's finished. All right, got the other side done. It's kind of what it looks like there. Sorry, the lighting's not that great in here. Yeah, both sides are done now. Um, and then uh, next time I do this, I will do the entire interior. I just actually detailed the car a couple of days ago, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a uh, tutorial on how to do this in case you wanted to do it this weekend. Get yourself some of the OGX coconut milk shampoo and then uh, leave me some comments and tell me how it turned out. Give me a thumbs up and a subscription if you don't mind and we'll see you guys soon.